Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So of course we have to get into some things when it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Miss Latoya Howard is on Instagram shading the hell out of OG Sheree Whitfield. You guys know Sheree is a shoe-in for season 14 and Latoya is getting the drama started right on time, okay? Just in time for filming. And then you guys, of course we have to talk about Fallon Guabadia. She is leaving this $40 million marriage with basically nothing, okay? The bag has been officially fumbled. So we got to talk about it. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's get straight into the video. Now, you guys, before we do anything, of course, we must mention Celestesnest.net. Y'all, it is the summertime. The sun is working overtime, and we must protect our beautiful black skin at all costs. That's why I choose to moisturize my whole body with Celestis Nest Body Butter. This stuff feels amazing and smells even better. And of course, go ahead to the website and pick up the matching soaps. Click the links down below, and you guys know you can use my code HOA for 20% off your first order. Now let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm not gonna be here for too long. I just wanted to give you guys some Friday updates. First things first, we must talk Miss Latoya Howard. She's on social media shading the hell out of OG Miss Sheree Whitfield. Now, just to give you guys some background information, Latoya took to Instagram to announce her new line of athleisure wear, which is super exciting. And so I wanna see a whole bunch of congratulations in the comment section. But with that being said, our favorite blog then reposted LaToya Howard's announcement of her new workout line. And their caption says, LaToya Howard announces her new line of workout athleisure coming soon. Hashtag Roa. Now, if you're on Instagram and you follow a lot of the Housewives pages, then you would know that LaToya is a certified fan, right? Okay, she be all up under the fan pages in the comment sections cracking jokes with us, which on one hand, it's kind of cute, it's kind of funny, it's relatable. But then on the other hand, it's like, girl, sit your ass down. Like, you acting like a fan and you're declassing the show. But with that being said, she took to Instagram to go under the Peach Report Daily's comment section and she said joggers will be included in September, spring, summer. And of course, we know that that comes from Sheree because a couple of seasons ago, the very messy Andy Cohen asked Sheree about her defunct fashion line, She by Sheree. Uh, Sheree just very awkwardly said joggers. And so, you know, LaToya thought she was being funny, okay? She thought she was being cute. She was trying to crack jokes. But there was a hint of subtle shade. And I do say that it's shade because... Everybody knows, okay, that Sheree is a shoe-in for season 14. And so with that in mind, Latoya's probably thinking, how can I start drama for this new season? Now, I don't know if you guys remember last year around this time, but Nene was just doing her regular schmegular rants that she does on Twitter. I believe she was mentioning something about supporting black women out of the clear blue sky when no one even knew who a LaToya, Ali, Howard, or forever was, she took to Twitter, responded to Nene and said, Nene, how can you talk about supporting black women when you got my auntie fired back in Canada? Now, y'all, when LaToya tweeted this, it threw everybody for a loop because it's like, you look absolutely thirsty and you're trying to rev up some drama because we know you're going to appear on the new season and it just looks so contrived and forced. And y'all, that's exactly what's happening here. Y'all think LaToya is crazy and ditzy, but the girl is actually calculated and strategic. So stay woke in the words of Mr. Bingeworthy. Let me know how you guys feel about the whole situation in the comments down below. Now, very quickly, I did want to mention this divorce settlement between Fallon and Simon Guabadia. You guys know that they first appeared on the show last season. Uh, their marriage was already hanging on by a thread once they got on the show. And now everyone seems to be Team Fallon now that Portia is with the man, okay? But with that being said, you guys, according to the Jasmine brand, it looks like the two have settled on their divorce. And so they say it looks like the exes have come to a mutual agreement regarding their divorce settlement. Their final settlement reportedly enforced their prenuptial agreement, 
and waived Fallon's rights to any sort of alimony. Okay. So for the slow people in the back, Simon and Fallon signed a prenup, which basically means Fallon don't get nothing. Okay. That's what it means. And so y'all know Simon is rich beyond our dreams. He's worth $40 million allegedly. And Fallon ain't getting none of that. Okay. None of that net worth she is going to be entitled to. It says per their agreement, Fallon is allegedly entitled to a portion of the proceeds from a property she and Simon Guabadia shared. I have no idea if this is the property that was, you know, up for sale for $5 million. I'm not sure. But they go on to say that it's unclear how much the property in question was sold for. But Simon reportedly coughed up $153,725.34. That's all Fallon is going to get is $153,000. Yikes. Okay, like, girl, you couldn't milk nothing else out of him. Okay, why didn't you try to get pregnant before you filed for divorce? Okay, you mean to tell me that y'all got 10 cars in that garage and you ain't gonna at least take three? Like, Portia is having herself a hot girl, city girl summer. And Fallon, you just sitting back chilling like, get with the program. Okay, get with the program. So let me know how you guys feel about the situation. <laughs> I mean, I guess if she came into the marriage knowing that she wasn't going to get shit, then uh, it is what it is. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day.